Okay, this is part three of my extension tube series of videos. This is gonna this is gonna be the final video of extension tubes. That was my phone. Let me I forgot to turn the volume down. Let me turn the volume down so that doesn't happen again. Okay. Now that this video is gonna cover what, which tubes do you need to buy? Which tube or tubes do you should you buy? Um, as you can see here, these ex extension tubes they come in different lengths or thicknesses. We'll call it length. This one is 14 millimeter. This Kenko is 25 millimeter, and this other Nikon is 52 and a half millimeters. Um, well, first of all, let's what fo what focal length are you going to be using it with? Now, the, the longer the focal length, the more extension you're going to need to get to any given re reproduction ratio size. So. If you're using a fairly short lens, like a 50 millimeter, you would probably want to get a shorter tube, like this 14 millimeter, would give you about one third life size. This 25 millimeter tube would give you half life size on a 50. You know, with the lens focused at infinity, you can get a little larger by setting the focus to its closest focus distance. And if you're, you want to go with a longer focal length lens for more working distance. Like a hundred millimeter or hundred one thirty five millimeter lens, you're probably gonna you're gonna need a longer tube. And like on a hundred and thirty five millimeter lens, if you want to get to half life size, you're gonna need um, what would that be? Sixty seven and a half millimeters of extension. So you probably want to get a longer tube, such as one of these. Or now, now keep in mind you can stack tubes together to, to get more length. But I wouldn't recommend stacking more than two or three because then you're, if the setup's going to get kind of wobbly and you know impractical to carry around. You get too much extension and and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, now as far as your recommendations about um, which tubes to buy, well, on eBay you can find these really really cheap extension tubes most of them are from Hong Kong or China for about 10 bucks I wouldn't recommend those because the, I mean they you don't there is no CPU electrical contacts such as this what this Kenko has there's no camera to lens transfer and on the on the mouse they have mechanical aperture linkages like Nikon you're not going to get that in those tubes like this here you know you're going to lose most of your functions and then some camera cameras may not even be compatible with tubes like that so I wouldn't recommend those I would get a tube that allows you to keep all your functions like even with the these Nikon tubes here Nikon still doesn't make any tubes with the CPU contacts like this Kenko has so I wouldn't really even recommend the Nikon tubes unless you're using them with older gear older lenses and cameras that a meter with it with, without the contacts there there's a lot of tubes out there for a lot of different mounts there's tubes for Nikon Canon EF EOS um, Sony A Sony E micro four thirds and I'm sure there's others out there too for the popular popular lens mounts so you should be able to find the tube for regardless of what a uh, what system what mounts you have Now, if you get a tube made by the manufacturer that makes the camera and lens, um, that's probably going to be the best option. But it's, it's an expensive option. For example, if the 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 tube the tubes for Canon, the, the Canon tubes for Canon are pretty expensive. But you can go with like Kenco or Velo as a, as a lesser expensive option. And um, you're wondering what this is. You've probably never seen this tube before. I just want to throw this out there. It's a Nikon PN11 52.5 millimeter extension tube. Now, even though it doesn't have the CPU contacts on it, I'd recommend it for Nikon users if, if you're using it with older gear where you don't need the CPU contacts because it's got a wonderful thing on it. It's got a tripod color. So, if you got a pretty long lens with this tube, uh, if you mounted the tripod to the camera, the setup's going to be very unbalanced. So you can just mount your tripod right here. 
and also it's it's got a collar on it if you want to go from horizontal to vertical or um, level out the camera you don't have to tilt the tripod head all you do is rotate the camera lens combination in the collar and it's got detents every 90 degrees then when you when you get it where you want it you can lock it down so this this might be a good option for Nikon users I really like that too because of the tripod mount 